this has been the ongoing controversy at Fox. We've been covering a lot of stories where corporations or at least their marketing firms seem to be targeting things uh, that the consumer doesn't care about. I know we've all talked about Bud Light to the point of exhaustion, but even Miller Light, who tried to preemptively, well, not even preemptively, they preceded Bud Light with their marketing, which they were trashing the idea that women were being put in bikinis to market beer. But I don't think that was in lockstep with what the consumer prioritized, nor do I think, I just will get your take on this, that I think they should be demeaning the act as it's like somehow cheap to be a woman who's so good looking you can sell products. Right. I, I don't think that's demeaning or degrading in any way. I think you've been gifted something, you know. Do you disagree? I don't know where you weigh No, in. I completely agree. I think that there, we've always had different people in advertising and for uh -huh. the party of diversity to yeah. come out and say, well, but not hot women. Like yeah, hot no, chicks and bikinis are out. Let me ask you this. Was this started? Because it's a war on hot chicks. That's what it is. That is what it is. It's a war on hot chicks. So was it started by non-hot chicks to be like, well, what if we just kick the hot chicks out? I, you know, I haven't seen people in the movement that is trying to kick people out that oh. I want to see in a bikini. So that could be it. The I mean war on hot chicks. <laughs> we had the war on Christmas. Now we have a war. It's not right, Tudor Dixon. And here's the point. It's like the guy's drinking beer. Who cares if it's what they like? No, the, the reason that sells mm -hmm. is because the guy drinking beer wants desperately to think those hot chicks are showing up at his party. <laughs> that's true, though. But think and, about and it. That's marketing, and, folks. And, marketing 101. <laughs> it's true because, like, every one of the these beer commercials has the fantasy of like, you know, the guy's got nothing going on, but then he starts drinking Keystone Light and it's raining supermodels. Yes. That's like the joke, the beer commercial. Right, exactly. When you bite a Starburst and like waves of surf come in and there's like a marching <laughs> band. You don't want a commercial where you bite a Starburst and they foreclose on your house. <laughs> like, right. Nobody hangs out with you now. <laughs> that is so so this is this is the I think this is the beauty of what these companies are doing because this is showing what America is. It doesn't always have to be political mm -hmm. because we are a capitalist society. And so that's how this works. When yes. you do something that the people hate, they go, Yeah, I'm done. And Thank you. That's also marketing one on one. I think do it's that. I think it's healthy. I think I, I hope, seriously. I don't want to see like 12 companies get wiped out, but if two or three have to take a bath so the rest of the boardrooms get the message, because what happened is when it comes to marketing, I think they prioritize like these DEI scores, like these corporate, you know, social credit systems, and they're trying not to prioritize the customer so much as the ideology that'll get them a higher ranking. So we went from these marketing firms that were mad men, and now we have mad them. And I think that's what happened. That That is true. Don Draper is Dawn Draper now. And, <laughs> and this is why we can't have Bud Light anymore. Come on, Tudor Dixon. But when you are under threat of being debanked and all these other things, you are looking for how can I score points there? Yep. And that's the wrong place to score points yep. when you're selling to kids. And yes. parents are more powerful than the whole group, or we should be more powerful than those that say you can be debanked. And that's where I think politicians can play yep. in the, hey, you can't debank people, but the people play in you you made a boo boo on the marketing side Th thank you and the war on hot chicks Tudor Dixon has spoken. <laughs> That's right. Give peace a chance. Bring bikinis back. Thank you. For girls. And deadbolt this door starting today. We can't have one of these guests again, Mikey. Great no stuff, Tudor Dixon. In. We'll see you in Michigan. Thank you.